there is unhappiness. There's a critical mass. People are not seeing what they were promised. Mm. Instead, they are seeing a state that is predatory, a state that is uh, extractive, a state that is uh, acquisitive, a state that is self-serving, and a state that becomes increasingly draconian. I have been in this country <clears throat> for close to 70 years. Mm. I got here before President Ruto mm -hmm. and before his deputy, Rigadi Gashagwa, mm. and before Msali Amadavadi and all those other people there. They found you here. I speak with the authority of an elder. Mm. And when an elder speaks, he's allowed even to speak ex cathedra. I have not seen a government that has behaved the way the present government behaves. No way. A government, Come on. a government, Eric. That. Welcome back to the Mora TV. So you have just seen the elder himself, the professor himself, who has said that he has been in this country for over 30 years, or more, over 70 years rather, and he has never seen a government behave like this government has behaved. We have seen the rise of extrajudicial killing, we have seen the rise of abduction, we have seen the rise of many things in the country, which begs the question, is the country even safe for its own citizen? And that's the number one question we need to ask ourselves, because we have seen a series of things which are happening, which raises the question, which government are we in? Many people have expressed dissatisfaction. Many people have expressed concern over what's happening in the country. The other day, people were questioning the president's travel policy because he has been flying around the globe from time to time. If he's not flying, he's lying. That is the slogan which Kenyans have really come out to. On the other hand, we have seen a series of citizens going around the country exposing projects which the government launched and now they are ghost projects across the country. We have seen Morara Kibasa do so and a group of citizens followed the suit. So there is a lot really happening and that needs questioning and even as it needs questioning, many people need to come out very clear and say that or condemn this thing like the professor has condemned it. People are not happy. Kenyans are not happy. This is not what they wanted. This is not what they voted for. But they, out there, the president is saying that they have done. It, indeed, the Kenya has, there is nothing which has been done in Kenya since this government came in. They have only been good in promising because for me, I've never seen a project which the president has launched and it has been fully completed but is serious in terms of changing from chief nhif to chief from this model new university funding models things which are really getting a lot of questions or they're being questioned every now and then in terms of their credibility so that's it for today make sure you keep it more tv